everyone, it's Jessica Hartson here from Jessie Illustrates and it's great. Today we're going to create a Halloween drawing which you could use on your door, in your window or in your bedroom. So, let's get started. We're going to create a drawing like this which has a frame around the edge, three key characters, a Frankenstein, a pumpkin and a Dracula. We've got a little spider hanging in inside. So you need paper, pencil and a pen. So you can see here I've drawn a rectangle to give us the shape that we're going to draw into. You can use a ruler if you like or freehand. And the next section is we're going to, can you see here, we're going to create this sort of wobbly line to make it a little bit more scary. So again, it can be freehand. So lots of just sharp, almost like wave edges. Now I've completed the border and it looks nice and spooky, we're going to add the key characters that we have, which are here, Frankenstein, Pumpkin, Vampire and the Spider. So we're going to break that down into shapes. We're going to start off with Frankenstein, we're going to make a rectangle with rounded edges. And I'm drawing in pencil so you can rub it out if you go wrong. So next of all, we're going to draw the eyes with a slant and a semicircle. Make them look mean. Like that. And the pupil in the middle. I'm going to do a U shape for the nose. And it's got its mouth open, so we're going to do a wiggly eye like that. I'm going to add some teeth in. And lines down to make it look like he's got two sets of teeth there and a little line for his lip and add in some eyebrows like that and we're going to add some scars in here so a line, little lines across so on that side do one across his eyebrow okay next we're going to add some bolts to the side of the head and these are rectangles Same on the other side. And we're going to give him some hair. So let's give it a wobbly line. Now we can rub out the line here across the, the head once you finish. Especially if you go over in pen. Like that. Okay. So next we're going to add a neck in. So another rectangle. So lots of rectangles today. I'm going to slightly round off that neck if it's going into his top and add some more scars like that. I'm going to draw his shoulders in like this. Now underneath him is the pumpkin so let's draw that pumpkin shape now so we know we can squeeze him in. A little bit like a heart at the top. A little bit of a bump there. I'm going to add in um, Frankenstein's fingers. One, two, three, four. Now we're not drawing the thumb because if you imagine the thumb the underneath. Same on this side, if you lower down. And draw his body going on here. Now the pumpkin is on a table, so let's draw a line across like that where the table will be finishing. Now, I've just remembered I forgot to do Frankenstein's ears, let's draw those in. Okay, like that. And give him a collar, some zigzags, and lines for some texture of his body or his top. All the way down. Okay. We're going to do the pumpkin next. So we're going to do his eyes, and they are going to be a bit like M shapes. We're going to make them a little bit like bubble writing. Like that. Or upside down U. And then we're going to do his mouth, which is open. He's going to be a happy pumpkin. You're very welcome to do a scarier one. Add in a tooth. One on the top, one on the bottom. And we're going to add a little line there that makes it look 3D. I'm going to do the same on the eyes, so 
this way, not all the way across, just over there. Okay, we're going to add lines for the pumpkin there. Like that. And we're going to do a little bit like this at the top where the vine is going to be. Make that a little bit thicker. And add some leaves in. And when you colour this in, or if you use black pen like I did on the other one, it will really stand out. Okay, that's our pumpkin dish. Let's add some little dots. Okay, finally we have the vampire here. So he's also got sort of quite a rectangular shaped head. I'm going to do that over here. And lots of rectangles today. That's the head. We're going to do a very tiny neck again. And then his collar comes up. It's quite pointy swings back around same on the other side and then we're going to give him some shoulders we'll come all the way down we'll finish off this um, table so let's make a table look like it's made out of wood by giving it some lines across back to the vampire now. We're going to do the same as Frankenstein's eyes. We're going to do a line up with a semicircle, making the eagle. And he's going to be looking at the others over there. Like that. We're going to do an L-shaped nose on this one. And he's also got his mouth open, so we're going to do a bit like a semicircle with those big teeth coming down and a tongue so if you're doing an M shape and you can colour that in later. Let's give him some scary eyebrows as well. Coming up and he's going to have some scary ears that are pointy like this. Same on the other side. Let's go all the way down. A little bit of an M shape there. I'm going to finally go around the top of his head, give him a little few splits of hair, and all the way back down again. Now he might have white stripe down the middle, like that. And go over a bit and give him a bit of his cloak where the two bits of the cloak meet. And that's our vampire. So to finish off the picture, just at the top over here, we're going to do the moon. It's a huge circle there. Remember, we can rub all these little bits out. We can do a smaller circle, which is going to be our spider. And we're going to give him two little eyes. I'm going to give him some legs. Same on the other side, so remember we should have eight legs in total for each side. So you can see I'm doing sort of two lines for each leg so it looks thick. And we're going to give him a bit of web string going up there. Okay, so to finish it off, we're going to add some stars. So, however, you do stars, I do them like this. So you're going to add the bat and add that in here. So to do a bat shape, or the way I do a bat shape is do the little ears first and do the wing. One up, like that, and then sweep it back down. Like that. Do a little tiny one. 
and that's our design well done everyone so if you want to now what you could do is do a black outline which is what I've done you'll see in a minute and um, or you could color and paint it in how'd you get on if you'd like to see more of my videos make sure you like and subscribe bye